you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy gospel by wisdom ministries november 20th friday let's all us god's blessings a reading from the holy gospel according to saint luke chapter 19 verses 45 to 48 He entered the temple and began to drive out those who were selling things there and he said it is written my house shall be a house of prayer but you have made it a den of robbers every day he was teaching in the temple the chief priests the scribes and the leaders of the people kept looking for a way to kill him but they did not find anything they could do for all the people were spellbound by what they heard This is the gospel of the Lord praise you Lord Jesus Christ dear friends Luke tells us a very briefly of the scene where Jesus now in Jerusalem drives the traders from the course of the temple my house is meant for your house of prayer Jesus says quoting from the prophet Isaiah 56 verse 7 and Jeremiah 7 was 11 respectively but you have <clears throat> turned it into a den of thieves the trading took place in the outer court also known as the court of the gentiles and as is not unusual in such situations prices could be grossly inflated john speaks of a cleansing at the beginning of jesus ministry but in the other three gospels it takes place at the end two possible explanation have been given either there were two cleansing or more likely john moved the story at the beginning of jesus ministry for theological reasons he wanted to show jesus as messiah right from the beginning whereas in the synoptic jesus identity as messiah is only gradually revealed those coming to the temple needed to buy animals for sacrifices and they needed to change their roman coins into acceptable jewish currency shekels to make their contribution to the temple jesus had no problem about that what he objected to was that his this business was being carried in on a inside god's house when it could just as well as have been done outside We all know how the teachers try to get as close to the actions as they can. However, there may be hints that priests in the temple connived at the business and hence would certainly have profited from it. But Jesus felt that such a business was not appreciated in a place dedicated to the worship of God. It would be hard for us to imagine how it was. being allowed to set up stalls inside of churches although the vendors of sunday papers do get pretty close to the church doors jesus is an example of the true prophet he speaks as a messenger of god and is indeed god's own son he stands as a counter witness to all that is against truth love and justice and as such inevitably incurs the anger and the hostility of those who have power power based on falsehood on self interested corruption and justice on our church in its communities and through individuals is called on to continue that mission of counter witness it will win as the support and administration of some but also the hostility the anger and even the violence of others this is something which we should not all at all be surprised at nor something we should try to avoid our only concern must be always to speak the truth in love god will take care of the rest because ultimately truth love and justice will prevail amen may god bless us